primary energy consumption for comparison with the China, US and the world and as you would have already known we are at the bottom of the list both in the past and even in 2025 it is forecasted when the world consumes about 586 quadrillion BPU we will be going about 2060 quadrillion BPU Excellent. Per capita consumption, again, China is around 87. Currently, we are probably there are about 1200 or 1300. Uh, we have an fixed uh, daily power in terms of kilo, kilogram of oil equipment. In terms of electricity units, about 408 units is being consumed by an average Indian. We, need, we have a very long way to go for that. Next. This is just a chart to show that energy is a major factor of uh, factor productivity along with labor and capital and India almost contributes about 15 percent. So there is a direct correlation between energy intensity, energy use and the GDP growth. Next please. What are the national proposals? The integrated energy planning uh, document by the Planning Commission, uh, which was out just about last year, has forecasted that the current generation capacity of about 1,30,000 megawatts should go up about 6.5 to 7 times in the next about 25 odd years. That is the target they are giving for the country as a whole, and this is to ensure that our poverty levels are just about minimized a wee bit from today's levels. And it is said in the document itself, if we don't provide so much of generation capacity, there is no way we are going to come out of its poverty plan. If that is the situation for the country as a whole, where are we in Karnataka? We of course, as Baniba just said, we are a high growth state. And uh, the potential is enormous. We had done a calculation program back and we found roughly on a, as a thumb group, the larger states, the southern states especially, we need something like 500 megawatts per year to be added to the grid. Though of course there will be people who keep saying we have a generation shortage of only about 500 to 1000 megawatts and so on. This is the rough figure because electricity acts as a catalyst for what? About 3,430 or uh, 1,000 million cubic feet of water which is available in Krishna, Kaveri, Godavari and a huge chunk in the best flowing rivers. Uh, next please. This is the basin map. It's not really the entire blue thing is your uh, Krishna Basin divided right the top which is Godamari, South East you have the Para and the North and Ara around South and Bavari and West is the Western West Growing Basin. Next. When we saw 3438 PNC of surface water, I am not yet talking about ground water, 3438 PNC of surface is available per year. It has been assessed that what is utilizable probably is 1695 or much, much below that. We have given the figures of Krishna, 156, Kaveri, Mona, Time, Godavari, 22, others about 108. But what is important here, which I would like to touch on is, we have disputes with neighboring states. So also many of the other states have had. In the United States, almost every major state has a basically of coal based projects. But then as I said, coal based projects require a lot of water. These were not factored in the past. Roughly they require about 2,500 cubic meters per hour to find a megawatt project. So a 500 megawatt project requires about 0.78 TMC of water. It's a huge project. 0.78 TMC of water per year. This is after taking into consideration zero discharge system. 